Well, hello folks, welcome back to the channel. I am the Custard Prophet, and we are back here with this Euro Truck Simulator 2 uh, career mode save where the custard haulers. Uh, and we've got a nice old delivery here today. We are currently in the Hungarian city of um, Szeged, uh, which uh, is easier to say if you live there than if you don't. Uh, and we're going down into Bosnia um, to Bandalusia, uh, which, is, which is the town we were in last time out. Don't change, don't change. Oh, got away with it. Um, which is the town we were in last time out and that uh, you folks uh, saw that really wonderful um, bit of... Um, scenery I suppose in the um, to, to the south of the city so we're actually driving in from the north so we're going to see whether there is a similar beautifulness in the north um, but uh, we have an important reason for coming back for this particular drive and that is because the Halloween uh, or the Halloween um, event is finishing and it is finishing 14th of uh, November uh, one minute to midnight now it's currently the 14th of November and it is about uh, nine o'clock ten o'clock and uh, I, I have spent some time getting these last few deliveries um, I was watching uh, Zilla Blitz's video yesterday and he mentioned that the end of the event was when I've just said it was I did not know that I thought it went on for longer uh, so that's <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? So, um, luckily, I'd done the video for the day and I uh, got in there and managed to do three deliveries yesterday. And then I've done one already today, and then this is the final one. So, we are on uh, 12 out of 13 deliveries. And if you look behind us, we have our Halloween treats awaiting their delivery to. Um, to Bandalus here and if we do that before midnight then we are all good um, so uh, yeah very very excited about that if we get the if we get the um, the thing then we get a special little achievement on this on Steam which would be nice and we also get a little plush toy uh, which is what is that called I've got it written down somewhere how about I don't think I've got it written down somewhere. Count Cap Captula. So I don't know whether that's a cactus, a fluffy cactus, but that's what we're getting. The journey is, um, well, it was 242 miles and it was going to take six hours. Well, we've done half an hour of that as we've been chatting just. So uh, take in the sights in northern Hungary. Remember them because I want you to look at the difference between Hungary and Bosnia. And the reason for that is, as I did the drive up here, it just made me think how generic the scenery looks in in Hungary and because this is that was one of the first DLCs in the going east one and how amazing the 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 scenery looks even where it's really not very exciting it looks really really amazing in in Hungary so I mean, it still looks nice but it's nowhere near as good so uh, feast your eyes on this and we'll be back in a second as we get a little bit closer to the Hungarian Bosnian border but let's have a look first of all at our route so we are on this road here, which we've not been on before. Uh, we're going to drive all the way out here, down sort of past Pex, past Osijek. Um, actually, once we get into here, this is actually a border into Croatia. But weirdly, despite there being a border crossing, and here, there is no, there's no, there is no border crossing. So actually we'll probably come back as we get nearer to that and you can hopefully see the difference there and then we'll um, drive around in Croatia for, for, for a bit and then into Bosnia um, into Banda Lucia Banda Luka, that's it um, second largest city in Bosnia remember that fact uh, we've got the quiz question and I want to talk a little bit about how we have done so far in the um, the other achievements in this uh, this new DLC right see you in a bit Right, folks, we are just about to leave Hungary. Um, this road here it goes off to Osijek, but then uh, just past this, we will get into 
Croatia. So I have no idea whether there's going to be an obvious difference here because we're not going to go any, through any border. There isn't, there isn't a border for some reason. And whether this is going to look all of a sudden quite, uh, quite different. But um, ooh, hello, oh Christ, <laughs> Jesus, right, not, not at all distracted there. What do we think? What do we think? I think we must be must be here by now and I guess they've had to yeah Ossijek so if we look on the map yeah we've, we've now over the border and I think what what you can say is that it is there is there is a definite difference it's not as pretty as some other areas but you look at the crops there's variety in them it's not copy and paste um, which is kind of which is kind of interesting so yeah uh, all the fields of sunflowers and those weird kind of um, hedges that um, aren't really hedges are um, yeah are, are gone so uh, yeah this is what we got here toll so uh, yeah, that's. I don't know why there isn't. If does anyone know why there isn't a um, a more? So I just see what's going on here. Yeah, a more obvious uh, demarcation between Croatia and Hungary. Is that is that in real life or is that just a mistake in the game and it's supposed to be there? Because it doesn't look like it is anywhere. In all honesty, it's um, all the way the border between the two. All the crossings are. There's nothing there, so as far as I can say. Whereas you've got a lot of other areas. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is everywhere else non-EU? Is that the difference? Because I can't believe it's quite like that. There seems to be. They do have border crossings elsewhere. I'm sure they do. Right here we go. Yeah. So it's interesting. Yeah. There's. I think there's a definite, noticeable improvement between the um, the various areas in the game and I guess they've had to do some of them a bit gradually so it doesn't look so like chalk and cheese but this definitely is the case I think the other thing that I was I wanted to say actually is the the glitching thing that I had where I kind of got thrown out of the game I have not had that in ages so whatever that was and I didn't really I don't really know what I've done because I didn't fix anything didn't change anything um, but it's not happening anymore so that's kind of good I like that so uh, yeah so uh, that is good and I wanted to also just kind of remind you what the quiz question was that we were looking at not had I had one person say they haven't got a clue but uh, the question is which spice because we're going back into Serbia no we're not we're near Serbia do Serbia does Serbian cuisine use most often your choices are cumin is A, paprika is B, cloves is C, star anise is D. Bit of, uh, bit of uh, good knowledge to have before you go to Serbia so you can wow the locals there with your knowledge about their local cuisine and say, oh, food here is quite nice. Is that X that I can taste? Not going to give it away like that. No, no, no. All right, folks. Yeah, I'm excited about this because... Um, yeah, I, I think I did not think I was getting this Halloween achievement. I'm really happy to see this much, much longer on the road to the Black Sea achievements as well. Um, we got that, I think it was uh, until sometime in December to get those. So we will probably move over to try and get that done before the um, before the end of uh, that particular period. Because it'd be nice to, nice to get done. I think I've got two out of 15 done of those deliveries so I, I would like to uh, do that the other place we haven't been yet and let me know in the comments if you have driven around there is Albania all the cities in Albania remain unlooked at um, so I would be really interested to hear what your thoughts are on Albania is it worth visiting right folks we'll come back in a second and I'll talk about how we've been getting on in the achievements and I want to know how you getting on in the achievements as well for this has anyone finished all five of those achievements and if you have give me some advice on the going camping because I haven't even started that yet right see you in a little bit it is 
Um, Tuesday morning, five o'clock in the morning here. Um, and yeah, an unauthorized border crossing. What did I do wrong? <laughs> I've done. I've done what Zilla did. We, we, we have just crossed into Bosnia and uh, I've done it in I've lost £2,000 we've got £327,000 so what we are doing at the end of this episode we're buying a new garage and a new truck and hiring a new driver and in fact we've only got 48 minutes to go to get to our location 27 miles away um, and what a lovely looking morning this is um, I think it's a perfect opportunity to first of all say how we've been getting on with the other achievements um, in this particular area so the road to the adriatics so that achievement that's where we've got to get all the cities in the uh, the new dlc we've got 20 out of 30 and the grand adventurer so that's all the cutscenes. we've got nine out of 15 so has everyone got all of these let me know in the comments the other thing i was kind of wondering about um just kind of because there are a lot of countries in this particular dlc which are your favorite countries in this particular uh, this DLC which which ones do you really enjoy I think the ones I've enjoyed so far as I said I've not been down to Albania so that's one that I don't have uh, really knowledge of but Bosnia is absolutely right up there. there's some absolute gorgeous stuff uh, in, in Bosnia some of the best routes I think uh, in Bosnia Croatia with the coastline I think that's absolutely glorious and um, and perhaps Slovenia as well is a, is a nice one as well but be really interesting to hear um, really interested to hear what your thoughts are on that which which of you been your favorite countries you think on average um, have the best kind of scenery going um, in, 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 in on, on average and in, in that you experience and why why should why should I care about the uh, particular area you're interested in so as you see we are driving down here we've not far away as you say, we're in Banja Luka. We've already got picked up Banja Luka, so it's not really an issue here. And we're just going to be going down the way, um, all the way down to the end there. There is a Boffier Kunik, and we're going to drop off our sweets there. And that will hopefully be the nice award of a, um, well, a Steam Achievement and a Cuddly Cactus. So I'll see you when we're picking those up. Right, here we go. We are here. That's what looks like a I don't know, wood wood place. What's the word for that? <laughs> I was going to say a wood factory, but you don't really make it like that. Right, we're not going to bother with that. So at the minute, I think we're delivering these sweets here. That is hopefully going to give us an achievement. Not sure if we'll see that. We did. We have upped to level 22, and that we put that uh, extra level on our final one for long distance. And my God, does it make a difference? <laughs> so we haven't seen a steam steam achievement come up, uh, but I will let you know if it's there. I'll put it up on screen now if I see it. We have completed the Happy Halloween event. We're done. So, as I say, that is going to give us a world of trucks achievement oh it's a world of trucks achievement not a steam achievement so i guess that comes up elsewhere and a count catula plushy cabin item in the steam inventory for the ets2 so we'll be putting him into our truck as well as the thing that we got for the west balkans dlc uh, as well so right we've got lots of money now we've completed that we want to get garage number two and we're going to pick it up in bandaluka Right, so I'll see you in a minute. We're going to drive back into the town. Uh, we'll stop off at this, this question mark and then head up here to the garage and we'll be buying this garage and then getting a truck to put in it. Right, question mark is just on the left here. Oh, have we gone past it? Up here? Really? Right, let's do it. This is a slightly surprising one. Ooh. 
Oh Christ! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what is it? A Scania truck dealer. I mean, it's a better place to put this, isn't there? Oh God! It picked up some damage from that. I mean, while we're here, we could buy a truck, couldn't we? We've already got a Scania, but why not? Why not? Let, why not? Let's get another one. Let's do that. Oh no, we can we buy another truck before we got the garage? The truck dealer's closed. Well, there we go. Decision made. Right, I'll see when we get into the garage. Let's see what um, what our new property looks like. Let's not hit this thing again. Right, we are getting close to our new base of operations, which is very exciting. Just on the left here. It'd be nice for them to be a little bit different looking, because they are all kind of look exactly the same as each other, which, I mean, it's a bit rubbish, isn't it? Is that it? Nope, not in there. Here we go. Looking good. Right. Shall we buy this garage? Let's do it. Nice. We've got new mail. Nice. Uh, what, what's, what's that then? Are you looking to expand your company? Oh, from now on you can use our services to purchase additional properties instantly so I don't need to visit them. I can just go there, which is nice. And I think the next truck we do will also do the same thing. But this time we've got to go and visit the, uh, the truck company. So what time is it? Oh, it's too early. Right, let's uh, let's drive up to oops, wrong way around. Let's drive up to the uh, the dealership, and I'll see you there. Hopefully, it'll be eight o'clock, and we can buy ourselves a Scania. Might as well do that because we haven't got time to. Uh, well, we we've got plenty of time to sit around, but it's probably going to take us a little while to get up there. So I'll uh, I'll see you when we're uh, back up at the uh, the truck dealer. It's not 8 o'clock, but what we'll do is we'll just sleep and then we'll come back. <laughs> we can't sleep. <laughs> I can't sleep here. Oh, come on. Is there any way for you folks who play this, is there any way to kind of make the time we go over here? I don't think there is a way to sleep. There is a place right just down the road though which we go down there and sleep that's annoying right I'll see you back here when we've had a little snooze and the place is open right had a nice sleep um, managed to get a bite to eat at the, uh, the cafe over there they did a lovely toasty so uh, yeah we're ready to go and buy ourselves a truck now <laughs> I don't know how this has become so hard to do but there we go, that's what's happened. Right, here we go. Let's um, I'll probably just get a sort of a base base level truck, I think. For we'll we'll, we'll customize it a little bit. Okay, this is what we've what we've done. We've upgraded the uh, transmission. We've upgraded the chassis. And I think the engine as well, and we're going to obviously make it horrible and yellow. There we go, let's confirm that. We are buying ourselves a nice truck. 
No, I do not want to drive in my lovely truck. We are going to put that in Banjaluka. There we go. And it's been delivered to our little warehouse in Banjaluka. That's exciting. Let's find a driver now. Right, let's hire, hire, hire a driver. We'll have a look through this and I'll come back with my choice. So I think this is the guy I'm going with, um, Pavel, who has um, two long distance, so we'll be able to go a little bit further, and one in, what's that? I can't remember what that one is, but I think he seems like the, uh, the good choice. So we'll hire Pavel. He's going to be uh, taking on the truck there. So we were, uh, that is good. So let's have a look at our drivers now, because... Um, this is what we've got. We've got Molly, who is doing quite well. Matthew is really doing well. 3,100. I mean, absolutely crazy. He's our, he's our most recent guy, and somehow, I don't know why he's doing so well. Oh, he's Fragile Cargo. We focus on that, and that seems to be making a difference. So what should we do? With, let's, let's do the same thing for Pavel. We'll, f we'll focus on Fragile Cargo and see if that makes a difference for him. Anyway, we are making some decent money from our drivers. Um, so, uh, yeah. Well, that is a good one. Halloween event completed. We are, we've already done the West Balkans event, and now we're going to work towards the uh, the second West Balkans event. But we'll also try the uh, try to sort of do the going camping and maybe one or two others, uh, other achievements as we, as we go. Um, and we'll see how all that goes. I'll have a look at the achievements that are in the road to the Black Sea because there might be some uh, completable achievements whilst we're doing things over there. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this. Let me know how you're getting on with your own achievements and your own events. Love to hear what you're up to. Uh, do you agree with purchasing a garage in Bandaluka? Bandaluka, I think it's kind of nicely situated and quite pretty as well. Let me know all these things in the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.